today's video, I want to look at combining text with a function in Excel called concatenate. The function concatenate will allow you to combine text and cells together into one cell. If we look at our spreadsheet, we have a column for first name, we have a column for last name, but what if we wanted both of those together in one cell? If my list was long enough, it would be pretty cumbersome to type in each one of the employee first names and last names within a cell. We can use concatenate to quickly do this for us. Let's go ahead and put our cursor in D12. I'm going to click the insert function button and I'm going to type in the function concatenate. I will tell you that the concatenate function is being replaced by concat. So your version of Excel might have concatenate, it might have concat, but for this, they're the same, just a little bit different in name. With the concatenate function selected, we'll click OK. Our text one is going to be Holly. I'm going to hit tab on my keyboard to go to text two. Now, I don't want Holly and Feltner squished together as one word. I actually want a space in between. So I'm going to hit the space bar on my keyboard and I'm going to hit tab. And if you look carefully, it put quotation marks around that text that I typed. Had I not used the function builder to make this function and I left those quotation marks out, I would have got an error message. So that's a benefit of using the function builder to build your functions. And my text line three is going to be Feltner. And then we get a description below of what this is going to look like. That looks good. So we'll click OK. And let's open this up just a little bit. And we can see that both names were put together with a space. I'm not limited to just a space. If I wanted to change this and do a space dash space, I could we'll click OK. We can use drag fill to copy that function down. We could make a sentence out of this. So I'm going to put my cursor in I12 and we're going to make a sentence using the function builder. I'm going to click insert function concatenate selected. So we'll click OK. For text one, we'll put Holly. I'm going to hit tab to go to text line two. I'm going to do space so that there's a space after Holly worked. I'll do space again. I'll hit tab on my keyboard to drop to the next line. I'll select her hours cell. I'll do a space hours this week and I'll add a period. Now I'll hit tab again. And so our sentence is going to look like this. Holly worked 40 hours this week. And you can see I use a combination of cells and text that I've typed to make a sentence. We'll click OK. And we could do this for each one of those employees again using drag fill.